and I saw the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw Jesus in the in the clouds, and he was just radiating. He was just pure light, and he was there looking right at us. And then he opened his arms, and as he opened his arm, this this energy, like this shock wave, came out of his body. And I saw it coming closer and closer to us. It was very, very quick, less than a second. Hey, God bless you guys. It's me back again with another video, Crystalla for Jesus here. I love you. I'm so glad you came to join me here today. I'm so glad that you guys come day after day to be encouraged and enjoy these videos with me. I'm so happy you guys, you guys are always being so awesome and loving and commenting with me and I love all your comments, you guys. Thank you so much for sharing and all that. So without further ado, you guys, we have Day of Redemption. That's the channel name. They emailed this to me. They have a two-part series of Rapture Dreams. So I'm going to play both of them together. And uh, he said that um, there's a Rapture Dream and that he was left behind. So God is definitely warning us. He's trying to reach us and share with us what to what we are going to be experiencing, what we should expect what's going to happen in the future and how we need to get ready. He's telling us all this, you guys, we need to pay attention and get ready to go. So just to let you guys know, if you ever want to check out the channels, they're always linked in the description box. You can find the channel in the description box. So you'll always be able to find the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to them and to me, please. I would love it so much and to share you guys. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Hi, everyone. And welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to speak about a rapture dream where I was actually left behind. I had this dream last year during the quarantine. And in this dream, I was in a park with my brother. And we were flying his uh, drone that he just bought. And I remember as we were flying the drone in the sky, the sky was slightly overcast. Um, but there was no signs of bad weather or lightning or anything like that. It was actually a beautiful day. And as we were flying the drone around in the park, I remember that we got it stuck in a tree. And we were looking up, we were trying to figure out how we were gonna get the drone out of the tree. And as we were looking up, trying to figure out how to get it out of there, the sky, the clouds opened up. And as the, the clouds opened up, a bright light just started shining through the clouds through the open space and this light lit up the whole park and it just started lighting up the, the earth and then I saw angels thousands and thousands of angels probably millions of angels coming out and flying in all directions and I was as I was looking up one of the angels stops mid-air and he makes eye contact with me and as he did that, it's like I instantly knew in my spirit that it was the rapture and I was going to be left behind. And I instantly dropped to my knees. And then my brother asked me, what's going on? I grabbed him by his t-shirt and I, and I told him to get on his knees and start repenting, asking for forgiveness of, of his sins. And as we are on our knees praying and asking for forgiveness, we when we finished we opened our eyes and when we opened our eyes the angels were gone and the and the clouds were closed up and the world felt different it's like the peace of the world was gone and it was just a a, a fear that was just lingering in the earth and my brother and i we just felt fear and we we decided to run home and we found a back alley we started running through this alley to to my home and as we were running we we heard people crying we heard people um shouting we heard car crashes we heard sirens there was just chaos everywhere and i remember running through my front door looking for my wife and she was gone in the rapture and since this dream and then i woke up and then since this dream happened i was deeply disturbed I was asking the Lord why was I left behind I'm a believer in you I, I'm a Christian and I decided to do a three-day water fast where I, I I was just seeking the Lord asking for answers 
And when I finished my fast, the Lord showed me that I was living in sin. And that sin was, I was fearful of the things that were going on during this pandemic. I was watching the news and I was too fearful and I wasn't putting my faith in Christ. He also showed me that I still had too many worldly, earthly desires. I was still watching um, secular movies and listening to worldly music. And the Lord showed me that, that even though you're a Christian, you have to, you have to put Christ above everything else in your life. And since then, I have done, done my best to let go of all earthly desires. And I still, to this day, I struggle, but I, I do my best to put Christ in everything I do. And and I just wanted to, to share this dream because I think it's it's my responsibility. Since the Lord gave me this dream, if someone else is struggling and has still entertaining earthly desires, I highly recommend that you repent and that you seek the Lord. Because when Jesus returns for his bride, he's looking for faith. He's looking for his bride that are, that are doing his will. In this dream, I was with someone else. I was not able to see this other person that was with me, but we were walking down a small dirt path. And as we were walking down this dirt path, we arrived at our destination. And to our left, a little far, a little distance away from us, there was this white building. And me and this other person, we were carrying shofars, ram horns. And then this, in the dream, the Holy Spirit told us to blow the shofar towards that white building. And, and as we blew the, the shofar towards the building, a lady came out of the building, storming towards us, angry that we we're making all this noise. She came up to us and was telling us, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys making all this noise? And as she's, as she's angry at us, we hear the Holy Spirit again tell us, point the shofar towards the cloud and blow it. And as we blew the shofar, the clouds opened up. And I saw the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw Jesus in the, in the clouds. And he was just radiating. He was just pure light. And he was there looking right at us. And then he opened his arms. And as he opened his arm, this, this energy, like this shockwave came out of his body. And I saw it coming closer and closer to us. It was very, very quick, less than a second. I saw the shockwave com coming towards us really quickly. And it hit my body. And as soon as it hit my body, I flew instantly up towards the sky towards him I have never ever traveled that fast in my life it was supernatural experience and I cannot wait for us the believers of Christ to experience that and I'm waiting for that day and so after this dream I prayed and I asked for discernment to this dream and I asked the Lord if this is a dream that he wants me to release and this dream I had uh, 10 months ago. So it's been some time and, and I got confirmation from the Lord that he wants me to release it. And from my understanding of this dream is that that white building and the angry lady represents the sleeping church, the sleeping bride. And from what I took from this, that this is going to be the end time church. The church needs to stand firm in the word of truth. We know that man's law and morals have changed throughout history. But God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His word never changes. 
The Bible clearly says what is a sin and what is not a sin. The Bible is black and white. There's no gray area. Some Christians are living in this gray zone. They say there are Christians, but they're still entertaining earthly desires. And some preachers are too busy preaching to the masses without confronting their congregation's sins and what they need to fix before the return of Christ. Revelations 3, 15 through 16 says, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. And, and I wanted to read this verse, these verses, because God is giving his children around the world visions and dreams, warning them, warning his people about his return. If we're still here on earth, God is still giving us a chance to repent and return to him. sin and fall short of the glory of God. Thank you for watching this video. I want to encourage you to keep announcing the good news into the world because our day of redemption draws near. Amen. Wow, you guys. Wow. Wow. All are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Thank you so much, brother, from Day of Redemption. You guys, if you want to find his channel, please go and subscribe, you guys. Share the love, you guys. Share the love. I I I loved this so much. I and you could you did such a good job with the whole like pictures and the songs and like I love it. <laughs> I know. I wish more of you brothers and sisters were able to do this, but it's okay. It's totally fine. I honestly wish that I could do more of that, but I just don't have the time. But it's okay, you guys. God is glorified in every form and fashion, right? God is glorified. Amen. Praise God for this. And there was something very interesting that I wanted to talk about, and I can't remember what it was um oh yes the rant blowing the horn i was just talking about this in my last video that i recorded i was like we need to be the ones blowing the trumpet horns we need to be the ones that are sounding the alarm because you know the bible says that in the last days that um, well, the parable of the bridesmaids, right? And there's a cry made, go out and meet him. The bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. There's a cry made at midnight. People have been having dreams that it is literally midnight. It is literally 1159. It is one minute to midnight. It's on midnight. And that cry is going out and we need to be preaching. We need to be we need to be sounding the alarm as well, you guys. We got to get on it. So, you guys, I love you. I hope that this blessed you. Please leave down below in the comments. If you made it to the end and you watched all the way to the end, please leave down in the comments um, some shofar. Shofar. I wish that they actually just put the trumpets. Put the trumpets down below. I know they don't have like a shofar emoji or whatever, but... You guys, I love you so much. And thank you again, brother, for sharing this with me. I will see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.